Hey guys, it's Tech Infusion. Have you ever wondered how to put a DVD onto your computer so you can play it through iTunes or stream it to your TV? If so, this video is for you. That's actually what we are going to cover today. And I'm actually going to teach you how to take a DVD or even multiple DVDs and put them on your computer. So, I mean, in this day and age, not many people use DVD players anymore. I mean, some do. And even if you do use DVD players, it's really convenient to have the actual DVD file on your computer. I mean, just for if you ever did want to stream it to your TV, if you don't do that already. So I'm just going to go over that. So let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and we'll start the video. <laughs> Okay, so before we start the tutorial on how to rip a DVD, I would just like to say a huge thank you to Digitary Software for sending me this free software that originally cost $39.95 and is called Mac X DVD Ripper Pro. I'd highly go recommend to download the free trial and if you like it and found it, find it helpful, of course you're going to need it for this tutorial, um, purchase it because I really like this software. But we're going to go ahead and jump right into the video and so let's go ahead and open the application so the first thing we need to do after op opening the application is to actually insert a dvd into our optical drive so let's go ahead and do that now okay so once the dvd is inserted we actually have three options in the application of course we do have a trash folder but we do not need that right now but we have a dvd option an import from dvd folder and then an ISO, load DVD ISO image. So some DVDs cannot be read just by the DVD and you need to go locate the, the finder and of course the ISO file. Now, what we're gonna actually select today is DVD and we can actually, if you do have more than one optical drive, you can actually select the disc you want and I actually have Night in the Museum in the optical drive at the moment. So we're just gonna hit okay and it will start to analyze it and then it will ask us our output uh, profile. So based on what you want to play this on is what you're going to select here. But a good thing just to select if you're just going to play on almost any device, it's just the general universal kind of format is MP4 video. And I mean, based on how much computer space you have, you can uh, up the quality or lower it down. But I'm just going to keep it in the middle for this. And yeah, so uh, of, of course you can see on the side here we have tons of exporting uh, profiles or output profiles. I mean, you can do YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, I mean, just tons of stuff, different devices, uh, DVD backups, and just tons of stuff. And then we, of course, have our recently used profiles. Now, we're actually just going to select MP4 and hit Done. Now, here we have all the titles. Um, this one, we can actually play the titles to see what they are. This looks like an advertisement, or I'm not exactly sure what that is, but we can actually go through the different titles. Let's go ahead and deselect that. And we can actually see the duration. Um, this is actually, we do want title one here. I kind of figured that one out kind of well. That one's an hour and 48 minutes, and we can obviously uh, take from that that it's the movie. Um, looks like our highest quality here is 720 because of the DVD format. Um, all these look like advertisements and maybe menus. Of course, you can uh, mess around with that, and if you do want the menus, you can find out which one are the menus and actually take them. And now we can actually enable subtitles here which I'm not going to do because I don't want to use subtitles you can actually merge the titles to just I mean basically when you click on it it opens it up like the menu but it's just one file and yeah I mean you, we can go into even further detail and edit and trim the video if we don't want a certain part in it which is really cool and as you can see you can see the video right there and that's super cool um, but now we're just going to actually hit run after we select the title we want. Um, we have different modes over here. We can select how much of our CPU is used. And I would recommend using that on full unless you plan on doing other things while it is ripping. And still, you should probably use it on full, keep it on full so it doesn't uh, slow down the process. Um, everything else looks fine. We can choose our destination folder, of course. And I'll leave it to that. Mo uh, users, Tech Infusion, Movies, Mac, Video Library. In fact, I I'll actually change that to my desktop to make things easier for ourselves. So now it's set to our desktop to output it. And we're actually going to hit run. And depending on how long this process takes, I am actually may speed up the video or I may skip it all together. So we'll actually see. So basically, once you're done selecting all those options, you can hit run. So it looks like it's actually running now and it is actually converting it. So 
we have different options here on the run page. We can shut down the computer when the conversion is complete, which I do not want to do, and open the output folder when the conversion is completed. I don't want to do that since it is on my desktop. Although if you do have it hidden in some folder somewhere as your destination folder, you may want to leave that open. Um, so basically here we have a stop button, which you could do if you just changed your mind on the conversion process. Now here we have remaining time. I'm not sure exactly if that's even right or not, but if, of course it's not going to take only 39 seconds to finish this, but we are going to actually wait this process out and depending on how long it takes, I might edit it differently. So it looks like we're at 1% and this is a long movie. So you can't expect it to be too quick, but um, we're actually just going to wait this process out and I'll see you guys when it's finished. Okay, so it is actually now finished ripping the DVD to our computer. That took around an hour and 48 minutes. I did heavily use the computer for a little bit of editing in between that time and it did seem to slow it down a little bit, but it did take an hour and 48 minutes of undisturbed time. So let's actually see what the video uh, looks like and like the quality. So let's just click on it here and see if it opens up here. So we'll just hit play. So it looks like it ripped it correctly. There's no error so far. Looks pretty good actually. I mean, that's a huge file that had to transfer over. It looks like there's no errors. Please save the lectures, please. All the way through the movie. So that's really good. The great victory. So yeah, I mean, this software seemed to do really, really good. So yeah, I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. But that's basically how you rip a movie or a DVD to your computer. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comment section as always. And just wanted to give you a couple updates here. I actually have a Twitter account and I'll leave that in the uh, description. And of course, go remember to leave a uh, like on my Facebook page. And if you aren't already subscribed, please do so. And yeah, let's see, I also did just start uh, kind of a fundraising kind of type of thing. I mean, if you want to support me and my content so I can get the more unboxings and reviews of cool products for you guys, I mean, it takes money to buy these products unless the uh, companies sell them to you like this one did, which I'm really thankful for. But I mean, it takes a lot of money to buy products and... I mean, you got to buy products if you're expected to do unboxing and reviews, of course. So it would really help out. Uh, it would be really much appreciated if you guys could help out uh, financially. I, I'll leave a link down to my, that support fundraising page. It's called Patreon.com. And basically, you can like pledge a certain amount a month. Like even just $1 helps. Like you don't even know. It's just anything. And there's different rewards on there for actually supporting me. And I really, really appreciate it if you guys go check that out. Again, thank you so much Digitary Software for providing the software for me to review and do a tutorial on. I really appreciate it. Now, uh, here's their website right here, um, macxdvd.com. And they're most known for their ripping uh, software, and they also have video conversion software, and I'd recommend going to check, to check that out as well. Now, this uh, software is $39.95. Of course, you can download the free trial, like I said earlier, or you can buy the full version. And basically, this page explains everything it does. And what I really like about this product is that it actually applies uh, the album art to the movie, of course. It doesn't look exactly right for a night in the museum because I don't know why exactly, but that's not the exact album art. Of course, the little bird from Rio is holding the correct album art, but you know, it it automatically applies it, so that's really sweet. Um, but yeah, I mean, go check them out definitely. And yeah, guys, I'd like to just say thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed and found it helpful, please remember to leave a like. And don't forget to comment, subscribe. I'll leave a link to all those things I mentioned earlier in the description as well as uh, macxdvd.com in the description. So you can go ahead and just click on that for ease. And yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great week. And I'll see you in the next video.